Hi, my friends. Um, thank you for joining me again. I'd hope to get back to you sooner about this whole healthcare journey, but my labs hadn't all come back in yet, and they still haven't. But just as an update on what I do have back, um, we did a whole blood panel and some more intensive thyroid testing, and my thyroid is out of whack. And even though it's considered in control due to, for primary care physicians, um, the functional doctor is not happy with it. So we added, um, I believe it's a T4 medication to what I was already doing. I'm also doing an elimination diet and I can tell that I do feel a little better. I'm st my weight's still staying the same, so that's very frustrating. But um, I do feel I'm sleeping a little bit better and I, I do have a, more energy to get me through the day. The um, other things on my labs were I have zero testosterone, which we are, even as women, we are supposed to have some testosterone, even postmenopausal women. Um, I think that my progesterone, estrogen levels are very, very low as well. I don't know what we're going to do about that yet, but she did mention we're going to talk about the testosterone, which would also be an energy booster. Horribly high cholesterol, which is typical for me, but I can't take statins. They cause me more issues than they help, and I'm just not willing to do that. So hopefully the diet changes will help with the cholesterol. It's familial. I don't eat things that should cause cholesterol, so I know that it's just part of my genetic makeup. And let's see what else. Oh, yeah, the elimination diet, which is not really terribly hard. The trickiest part for me is eating enough protein, which is 80 to 90 grams of protein. That's a lot for me because I'm not a big eater. I don't really look, food is not my favorite thing to do. And um, enough vegetables. So to get that packed in, I was probably eating too many sweets, getting carbs from too many sweets. So cut back on that, increase the vegetables and massively increase the protein. I may not have been eating enough. So we'll see, time will tell, but um, I'm here's to hoping so because I'm about four sizes, four to five sizes bigger than I used to be and that is not, I'm not happy about that. Uh, we have, let's see, it's October, November, December, January, February, March, April, May, June. I've got eight months till my 65th birthday, so I am, that's my goal. It's my, for 65, I want to bring it in good and back in a clothes size that I feel comfortable in. And um, I'm not going to worry about the hair. Uh, the lashes and brows are frustrating, but, you know, there's fixes for that too. The hair, you know, I sell wigs, so I can take care of that. Anyway, I love to you all. I really appreciate you following. I will try to do more in-depth uh, just on some of these things that they're doing for me so that it, maybe it can help you too if you're going through this. I'm, I don't, I'm not sick, but there are things that are just off. So I, I know that women that work, you know, I've worked with several thousand women. And aside from those who obviously have a specific problem, which is their cancer diagnosis. The rest of us just have aging issues that comes in all forms and fashion. So if what I'm doing can help any of you, that's why I'm here. Because I feel like women, we girls need to support each other because it's a rough road out there and they don't talk to you about any of this as you're growing up. So anyway, have a great weekend. I hopefully will be back in touch next week if not i do have a follow-up on the first of october and we'll get more specifics on what's going to happen so here's here's to good health thank you have a great day